Hello, 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 my crafty friends. This is Jackie, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me tonight. I'd like to share with you some projects for week number four of the Christmas in July collaboration, uh, hosted by Dawn H Creates. But before I do, I want to talk to you about my giveaway. Now, I know in a previous, uh, no, on a previous video, I did mention that I will pick one winner to win all of the projects that I made throughout the four weeks but I decided to make it fair for everyone to just pick one winner for each of the weeks so one winner will be picked for week one one winner will be picked for week two week three and week four so there will be four winners all together um, again I thought it was fair to do it this way instead of just picking one winner for all of the projects so I will be going back listing all the names down checking to make sure that you're all subscribed to my channel and that you're visible and then next week I will choose a winner for one uh, for each and every uh, of the weeks so for this week we were uh, our theme was rustic so I made a couple of projects I made some embellishments and some cards so let's get to it. So these are my embellishments. So I used a fan die that I bought from Anna Griffin uh, back on HSM when they had a crafty day. Uh, and I love those little fans. Um, let me see if I have it here so that I can just quickly show you what it looks like. Give me one second. I'm... Here it is. Alright, so this is the fan dies that I bought from HSN. This is an Anna Griffin die, and I just love it. So you have a like a small, a little bit bigger, and then the big one in the bottom there. So I believe I used the big one in the bottom here. And then this is the tassel that you put on the bottom of the fan if you want. So I got that. So these are my embellishments. So what I did is I... I put some Christmas paper on it I added this little um, what I did was I uh, cut out a circle uh, doily and then I cut it into four pieces and then I added it in the background to uh, behind the deer and then this deer is a die set that I got from a crafty magazine that I buy from Barnes & Noble once in a while and I just love that deer I love it I think he's just so adorable and I added a couple of blinks in the bottom and that's it and all four of these are the same as you can see so I made four okay let me just oops right there oh my goodness and then this one so all four are the same the next thing that I did was a card and this is using one of those um, dies that I have on my stash. Um, it doesn't really make a card like this, but I made it into a card, uh, a shaped card. So I made my own little shaped card here. <laughs> and then I'm trying to see if I open it up here. So that way, there you go. Okay, so it's ready to be opened. All right, so what I did was I added this uh, pattern paper in the background. It's like a woodland uh, type of uh, paper and I um, stamped some trees and then this is a little die set that I also got from a crafty magazine so I cut them out and a little uh, Santa hat and colored them in I also die cut a small little Christmas bag there and a little birdie just to um, just for the hell of it just to keep him company I guess <laughs> that's his little helper <laughs> And then on the inside I stamped it, have yourself a merry little Christmas. So that's my card. The other card I made is a centerfold uh, stand-up card. So it stands up like this. And again I used that deer as the center of the focal point there. Cute little pattern papers around it. And then on the back. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. 
and I just added some scraps of uh, Christmas paper to it some plaid there so that's my other card and then for the last card I did this one it, it flips up so again I used some plaid on the background I layered it with the black and then I added some bling around the black and um, this little guy is a stamp set so um, I stamped them out, colored them, and I fuzzy cut him out. I stamped some trees in the background. And I added this uh, Christmas tree sticker here. And stamped the Sending You Love right up there. Isn't he a cutie? And then in the inside it just says Merry Christmas. And I added a little uh, candy cane sticker. And another little strip of uh, pattern paper. And that's it. That's my project for this week. Week number four of the Christmas in July collaboration, which was hosted by Dawn H. Creates. Uh, there were over 25 of us in the collaboration. I hope that you all went and visited all the other talented ladies and subscribed and commented and, um, and gave them some crafty love. Uh, I want to thank Dawn for hosting such a wonderful col uh, collaboration. This was her first, and she did a great job. I had a lot of fun making my projects. And um, so, yes. So, again, next week, I will pick a winner for each and every one of the weeks that I did the collaboration for. So, you, we will have a total of four people, uh, four winners. Uh, so, I will be doing that sometime next week. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this uh, Christmas uh, adventure here. And I hope you continue to join me um, in my project shares, in my hauls. And uh, hopefully I will be doing some more tutorials in the future. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great night. And until next video, bye-bye. Merry Christmas.